Sylvester Stallone just destroyed Woke Hollywood. That's the video from Woke Watchers. Like, <laughs> Weight Watchers, but Woke Watchers. Path of Progress, boys, let's get into it. The pronouns. He, she, him, they, the, boom, bang, ba, bang, cool. You know what my pronoun is? Mm -hmm. Guess. Um, Time's up. Okay. It, as in it, can't take this shit anymore. This Hollywood legend just dropped a bombshell that's shaking Tinseltown to its core. He's taking a stand that no one saw coming. It's pure genius. He's not just cracking a joke, he's making a statement by looking at the absurdity of the pronoun craze. I mean, it's not a comedy, but there's a humorous element in it in that you are this East Coast guy coming to kind yeah. of figure out what the West is all about, right? Yeah, it is. There's a whole different kind of culture out here, which is really what forged a lot of the country. Sylvester Stallone, the iconic action hero, isn't just battling on-screen villains anymore. But why is Stallone bucking the trend? And what does it mean for the future of filmmaking? Lately, Stallone has been making headlines in Hollywood by taking a strong stand against woke culture. You know that trend where everyone's trying to be ultra-sensitive about every little thing? Well, Stallone isn't having any of it. It's over, and once you're exposed out there, then, you know, <laughs> it's out there. I mean, you're gonna have people following you home and guys like... Stallone is like one of those historic badasses. You know, back in his heyday, he was like the masculine idol that everyone would look up to. You know, Rambo, Rocky, like those are two of the most iconic action movies that I can possibly think of. And it's nice to see that he kind of maintains that old school school way of thinking because basically every single older man that is around this type of age thinks this exact same way but about 10 years ago they decided to throw all that out the window and if you think this way now you're the crazy one stallone doesn't let anyone dictate what happens on his turf he's been shutting down any attempts to inject woke ideas into his films and he's not shy about it either stallone isn't one to mince words especially when it comes to the state of filmmaking today for example, when Rocky, Rocky would never be made today. This, this never would have happened. It's over. Majority, the Godfather wouldn't be made today. And you know what? It's refreshing to see someone in Hollywood standing up for what they believe in, even if it means upsetting a few people. As a writer yourself, how, how different is it getting 10 hours to tell a story as opposed to two hours? I feel like it would be a huge transition, right? Yeah, it, it's a lot, because I've had, I had to learn about 410 pages of dialogue. <laughs> the star of Braveheart and The Passion of the Christ found himself shunned by the industry after a series of controversial incidents and his outspoken Christian beliefs. Came over here. I was, oh God, I was in my, my uh, mid-twenties. Right. The first time I really came over here. You know, I had a whole bunch of weird paranoid suspicions about what the hell was going on because there was a lot of stuff I couldn't understand. Right. And he's not alone. Matthew McConaughey, the charming Texan who's known for stealing scenes, also faced backlash for his Christian views, though not as severely as Gibson. Building for morals and ethics and yep. for societies. Yep. It's, a, it's, 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 I mean, you know, for people that go, oh, it's, 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 uh, it's a circus book or people that are non-believers. And I'm like, well, it's still the, the best one going. Um, there's a lot of great truths. It seems Hollywood has an unwritten rule, conform or face the consequences. And now here's Sylvester Stallone, a guy who's never been afraid to shake things up. Stallone's seen it all. And he knows how the industry can chew you up and spit you out if you don't play by their rules. Back in the 80s and 90s, Sylvester Stallone wasn't the only action hero dominating the big screen. Arnold Schwarzenegger, the Austrian oak, was oh, yeah. right there with him, flexing his muscles and delivering iconic one-liners. Your boots and your motorcycle. <laughs> hey, what the hell did you do to him, man? I did nothing. The pavement was his enemy. Dylan! Yeah. The thing about Arnold Schwarzenegger, he kind of went down the opposite road. Like Schwarzenegger is one of those just like one of the most iconic figures in probably American history today. Let's just be real. He's an absolute icon. Wins Mr. Olympia, becomes an action superstar, and then gets into politics. Like, dude, that's such an insane career. But on top of that, I think he's from like Austria or something like that. He's not even American, but he has the American dream life. And he went down the opposite road where now he's just bowing down to all of the like woke mind virus stuff. This video is from a few years ago. Remember when the worldwide really bad sickness was going on? This is what he said. There's still people that live in denials. There's still people that don't believe in masks. 
There's still people out there that say, well, we don't have to do social distancing and all this kind of stuff. There is misinformation out there. And my point of it was basically, look, there's no one that knows more about a bicep than I do because I studied this issue for 50 years. And the same is also with the virus. There are people out there that are experts that study this year after year after year and that are experienced, like Dr. Fauci, that has been in this, uh, you know, probably for his entire life. I mean, why would you not believe someone like that to wear masks, to do social distancing, washing your hands all the time, and not just to think about, well, my freedom is being kind of disturbed here. No, screw your freedom. Because with freedom comes obligations and, uh, and kind of responsibilities. Yep. Screw your freedom. That's Arnold Schwarzenegger. But if he didn't have that level of freedom that we provide in America, he wouldn't be the man that he is today. Back to the main video. While Schwarzenegger was cranking out blockbuster after blockbuster, Stallone was carving out his own unique niche. You asked me, I didn't ask you. Why don't you just turn off your brain and let your heart do the talking? And after the wedding, you'll move into a nice ground floor apartment. Why a ground floor apartment? Because after I break his legs, he's not going to make it up any steps. Sure, they both played tough guys, but Stallone brought something different. Heart. Today, Stallone's still kicking butt and taking names. But there's more beneath the surface. If you look closely at his recent films, you'll see a common thread. Patriotism and family values. That really is politically, um, uh, 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 we would say, uh, uh, vital right now oh. it's 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 that too it's it's right on the edge also it deals also with the foreign country you know and, and well you've heard a little bit about it Stallone knows these are the values America needs the most right now think about it whether he's a grizzled veteran in Rambo or a retired boxer in Creed <laughs> Stallone's characters always share a strong sense of duty and loyalty. It's like he's on a mission to remind us of the values that made America great. Criticism. I believe that some of the most talented people in the world fail because they can't take the criticism. They're too sensitive. Their artistic part of them just can't withstand the withering intellectual verbal bullets in a world where heroes are often shown as flawed and complex stallone's rambo takes us back to simpler times he's a symbol of old school american heroism standing up for justice and protecting the innocent no matter the cost because not only do all of his characters kind of portray the you know the ideal american mindset and the, the ideal american patriot in a lot of ways too but him as a person seems to live congruently to those characters as well. I've seen in some interviews where it's him and his whole family. He has like three daughters or something like that. And just seeing the way his daughters treat him, you can tell that he is the true patriarch in their family. And all of his daughters seemingly look up to him, respect him, and all that kind of stuff. Sylvester Stallone, the mastermind behind some of the most iconic action movies, has a unique way of poking fun at today's societal trends with a twinkle in his eye. And guess what? He's doing it again in his series, Tulsa King. It's like Stallone's way of saying, hey, let's not take ourselves too seriously. In Tulsa King, his character humorously tackles everything from political correctness to social media obsession. Think you've seen it all? Remember that clip where Stallone dives into the pronoun debate? You know, the one where he says, what's going on with this country nowadays? What's going on with this country in general nowadays? Does that mean like your generation? Seriously, come on. And these pronouns. What the fuck is with the pronouns? He, she, him, they, the, boom, bang, ba, bang, who. You know what my pronoun is? Guess. Um, Time's up. Okay. It, as in it, can't take this shit anymore. Dude, just look at the guy he's telling to. Look, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this guy. This guy is like emblematic of what men are in today's day and age. It's literally like Stallone is talking to the new generation of men. And this guy just embodies them. His overall kind of weak demeanor. And then you have Stallone over there who's big, broad shoulders, got his beard, deep voice. It's pure genius. He's not just cracking a joke, he's making a statement. By looking at the absurdity of the pronoun craze, he's showing us just how out of hand things have gotten. And the best part? He does it with a smile, making it impossible not to laugh along with him. But wait, there's more. Stallone isn't just about the laughs. 
Behind all the action and comedy, there's a deeper message. He has a knack for weaving his beliefs and values into his characters, whether it's about patriotism, family, or just good old-fashioned common sense. It's like he's saying, hey, remember what really matters. The whole point of a college degree is to show a potential employer that you showed up someplace four years in a row, completed a series of tasks reasonably well and on time, so if he hires you, there's a semi-decent chance that you'll show up there every day and not fuck his business up. Ready for a shocking revelation? Let's go back to 1977 when Sylvester Stallone was just a young actor trying to make his mark in Hollywood. What sparked the creation of Rocky Balboa? Stallone felt movies at the time lacked something crucial, something that made audiences cheer for the underdog. That's when Rocky was born. Stallone wanted to bring back the spirit of classic films from the 40s and 50s, where morality was at the heart of the story. The cinema, at least, the movies I had been seeing were at an all-time low. It was, everything was anti-society, anti-Christ, anti-government, anti-everything, and there was no one to root for. And I also feel that films are very cyclic, so... And now, today, here's another surprise. Stallone's commitment to those classic film values hasn't wavered one bit. In an industry that's always chasing the next big trend, Stallone is staying true to his roots. Why does he push back so hard against the status quo? Whether it's shutting down political correctness in his movies, or poking fun at societal trends in his series, Tulsa King, Stallone is unapologetically pushing back. Think Hollywood has changed him? Think again. Stallone's dedication to his ideals has only grown stronger over the years. Why does he stand so firm in his beliefs? His films continue to highlight values like patriotism, family, and good old-fashioned common sense. In a world where Hollywood often forgets its roots, Stallone is a steadfast reminder of what's truly important. I also know, you know, Rocky was one of his first films, and he wrote the script himself. But the thing was, he couldn't get anybody to make it. He couldn't get anybody to make the movie with him. So what he did, he went to production companies, and he just got rejected over and over and over and over. I think it was like a hundred plus times or something like that. But eventually, he got the yes, and that's how uh, Rocky was made. So you can really respect those masculine qualities that not only the characters portray, but that he portrays in real life as well. Pretty cool. Especially in a world today where all celebrities are just completely uh censored they just can't say anything that is against the uh the woke culture whatsoever they have to go align with they have to align with whatever the narrative is so it's cool seeing that i wanted to share it with you anyway bros better every day path of progress like the video subscribe we'll see you later